Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about the composition docker in Krita and how to use that and how it works. Really cool tool, it's very simple to use and you can do a lot with it too. So to activate that, go to settings, dockers, and then go to compositions. This little window is going to pop up and as you can see it's empty but we have some options here. But we don't want to do anything to it yet because first we have to get something on our canvas and in our layers to use. So for layer one, I'm just going to make some splotches of blue just so you can see everything. Layer two, use this bright fuchsia. Now let's make some lines so you can see that. It's great. I'm not using my tablet right now, so don't be alarmed if there's no pressure sensitivity. And then for the third one, I guess it's like tic-tac-toe, so I might as well put some of that green in there. This is great. Ooh, all right, I'm doing that one. Cool, so I have three layers to work with now. But obviously, in reality, you're not going to be just screwing around with it. You're actually going to be using it with real images and changing things as you go on, which is totally fine. So first, let's say this was my image and then I've got a good uh, amount of stuff going and I want to start comparing different layers and different backgrounds or, or something to each other. Instead of manually turning those layers on and off, I can just create the composition. So I can have multiple variations of my drawing at the click of a button, literally. So let's start adding those to the composition. So first I only want to, the blue dots, so we'll just call this blue, and then we will hit the plus icon, and then for the pink, we'll just say pink, add that as well. The last one, if you don't name it manually, or type anything in, and just hit the plus icon, Krita is going to automatically give that a numerical value. And the more you add, the more it's just gonna it's just gonna keep going up. All right, so we want to rename the green layer. So if you right click, we can hit rename composition. So we rename that. So now, if we double click on the blue, all that grid is doing is turning on layer one, which has my blue dots on it. It's turning all the other ones off. Pink, same thing, and green, same thing. Now, let's say I want the pink lines to show up with the green layer, so it looks like tic-tac-toe is happening. All I have to do is turn that layer on, right-click on the green, and hit Update Composition. So if I go to blue, and then back to green, now green is showing two layers at once, and not just the one. So we can rename this to tic-tac-toe, and then we can even make another layer Whoops, I forgot to rename that. Rename that green. So now I can go between these and see what works. And then to delete them, so if you have a composition that you really don't like, you decided it's just never going to work, you can just go ahead and delete it. This little red button here. Uh, Creator does allow you to export the composition, but it's been crashing for me. Uh, what it does, I'll show you. I won't show you crash it crashing, but that's I'll show you what it's requiring. So it is looking um, for a directory to save this to. And what I was doing was saving this to my desktop in a folder called Composition. But unfortunately, it wasn't really it. It crashed every time I did it. I'm not sure if I'm missing a step. I didn't see anything online that would uh, tell me that or show that, hey, you're missing something. Um, so it could just be me or it could be a bug. So just giving you a heads up and a forewarning about that. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you're able to find some use out of this. I know I will be. Um, I do have my mermaid thumbnails I'm going to be doing a part two of, and this is going to come in handy big time. Uh, so I'm really excited for that. Um, another, basically, uh, what I what I am going to be using that for is um, 
doing combinations of those layers together and then whatever I click I can just save that up as a JPEG without having to manually go and turn those layers on and off and it's just going to save me so much time. So I'm excited. If you have any questions or comments leave them below. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like this video so I know uh, how useful this was to you or if you did like it or leave me any suggestions of how this video could have been improved or what you'd like me to talk about next. If you want to support me, I do have some of my support links in the description for a coffee and a Patreon. Uh, but really the best thing you can do is subscribe and share the video with others. That's really the best way you can su support me. The coffee and the Patreon is just extra stuff if you feel so inclined, but not necessary. Alright, I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Hope you have a good one. See ya!